Let's go! Episode 4. Watching the world burn. Yes. So... Oh, crap. I've, I've, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Already. <laughs> that can be a good sign. Watching the world burn. There's a lot of weird, depressing stuff going on in the world. It's almost as if the world is ablaze with stupidity and unnecessary stuff. So we're just trying to just sit back, laugh and make fun of it. On to the Weasley News. Yeah. So Weasley News dates back to GTA. It was on the radio station that, well, well that's the only radio station I really listened to in GTA, to be honest. <laughs> and it had all these weird, funny and jokey headlines and, and stories to it. For example, Mayor's Pet Parrot repeats scandalous secrets during press conference. <laughs> I can actually believe that to be a true story. <laughs> that sounds like something that would happen in today's world. <laughs> it really <laughs> does. You know, what, what's his name? Biden's son's well, laptop, yeah, right? That, that, that whole laptop operation was mad. Are we allowed yeah. to speak about that? Or are we still getting I don't into... know. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's just skip it just in case. It's only yeah, let's, we can't let, be let's, let's not get into it. No. Let's not get yeah, into it. <laughs> plus, I don't know anything about it. I want to research it. It does seem joke to watch from the sideline. This, I think this is... Yeah. Write that down on the list of stuff that we need to research yeah um, it was pointed out to me because i played this episode to one of my friends that we didn't say who number one was if you don't know that the number one was mj and it had to, it didn't have to be said and when i say number one i mean jordan not jackson michael <laughs> still michael yeah not the he he guy <laughs> but the, i took it personally guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so was, like that, if, that, that time th there was a fan hexing him and he was ignoring him for the whole game right like right. so the fan was like does he keep going right and then like towards the end of the game because they were like down by eight and all of a sudden like they, i think they're like buying down by 20 by in the game and then all of a sudden they come back jordan starts playing the guy started going deep going oh yeah were you gambling last night or something like that right and then like as the bulls were coming back jordan is like oh you're still talking as they were coming back in it he was like like, he's proper at the fan, like, you're still talking. <laughs> and, like, obviously, they won the game because it's Jordan, isn't it? So it's like, once he actually wants lie. to do it. That's a sick story. I'd love to be that guy, even though, even though he ruined my No, no, it's such a sick story. Bro, there was a guy, it's a true story. Like, there was a lot of players that used to get this fan in the game that would just make fun of Michael Jordan. He would, like, heckle him deep, like, stuff that was in the news and about him and everything, right? And they would deliberately pay for his seat behind the Bulls bench. Hey, so guy, I'm thinking... If they did paint for that dude's seat, he may have made it to the finals. <laughs> they were close. Because they were close bro, a few times. This guy winning, bro. Think about <laughs> it for a minute. Those tickets are expensive as well. Yeah, yeah. How much are they? Well, back then, I don't know. Even back then, they were priced. Even back then, it would have been priced with inflation. Like, that's yeah. crazy, bro. Can you imagine that? And then you're getting paid and your job is to just troll MJ. And yeah. then if MJ wins, you're like, it's MJ. Like, yeah. what do you want me to do? Like, why didn't you stop him? It's your job. You're a ball player. If he loses, you'd be like, yeah, that's because of me, innit? See that time when I wasn't yeah, exactly. in the you claiming that victory, yeah. bro. <laughs> Uh, so fairly recently there was a trans woman all right who was in some ymca places right right and was supposedly flashing the penis in the right. female rocker room as you know right. a woman would do right they got taken to court the court cleared yeah. them of flashing the penis because <laughs> she's too fly for her genitals to be visible <laughs> <laughs> The mouth is hanging out. I'm sorry, but you know exactly the image I have in my head. It's literally yes. Peter Griffin. It's yes. Peter Griffin. <laughs> 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 I'm not even going to approve what that stuff can make me suspect. <laughs> oh, that's as weaselly as weaselly as That is as weaselly as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I've got a little side mm, one. Mm. Hold on. All right. Backstory. What happened was a, a runner got injured. Yeah. They had to throw in a substitute. Otherwise, the, the whole team could have, couldn't qualify. So they got yeah. shot for R to compete in the 100 meter hurdles. Otherwise, oh. the team would be good. <laughs> Rav, just watch it. It's brilliant. This is brilliant. Are you watching it? Let, let... Yes. Look at the size difference. <laughs> Oh, 
earlier, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, yeah. <laughs> Why is she jumping it? Could she not just power through them? <laughs> like, are, are we? What are we doing here? They just power through them, like. Do, how does her? I, I think work? I got. You, I you think her just, enough for a certain amount. I think I don't know. Because I think it just slows you down anyway. Yeah, but do you get disqualified right. if you knock down a certain amount? Uh, I oh, think okay. they started disqualifying it. All right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Because then at that point, that's legit. But to be fair, this brings up so that, yeah. to this one thing that I want to see in the Olympics. I don't care. Let's make yeah. it happen. Like, literally. Oh, like, actually, hold on. They on. only disqualify them if they knock it with a hand. Well, I'm powering through every single one of them, bro. Yeah, hands up like I'm running for the police. Don't shoot. And just... <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> you know you're not winning anyway. So like, no, nah. well, you may as well, that, right? At least I drop kick the last one. Just give add some flair to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of Side what do you kick. call it? Because <laughs> that's not just qualify. It's only hands, right? Yeah. No, what do you call it? This is the type of thing I want to see. Like every every what every four years, about yeah. a year before the Olympics, up to a certain age. Let's call the age. If you get sent a letter like jury duty if you're registered to this country you have to attend and you have one year to set yourself up and then i want to see that person that's got the one year go against the professional athletes at their sport Aww. so like, it would be it literally be like the hurdle thing but they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll have that like, go on yeah how about for the olympic with every time they just get an average person doing the same events on the side just on the side just so you can, so you can see how the difference between a regular person and <laughs> yeah but that's what i mean athlete. how would you force or so you, you're not even going to give them the year training that I'm not trying to give them. No, At least I'm trying to give them the year training. You're evil. <laughs> pick someone out of the, just pick someone out of the yeah, crowd. Like, like, like the Fat Olympics that happens. Is that a thing? Yes, Absolutely. it happens. Is that a thing? Like, they, they, they do that, like, every Olympics, isn't it? They did it in the London one. Yeah, but it was London. Yeah, but yeah, apparently it happens with everyone. They just do, like, a side event as Fat Olympics just to prove that fat people can do sports too. Like, sports like rolling down a hill. Fat Olympics? How's it coming up? Yes, I think it's Fat Olympics. It's, it's not showing up. Actually, you know, I think, I think my idea would be, ooh, it is showing up. There you go, 100 meters spin. That one's happening. <laughs> that one's definitely... Oh, what's this? What? Who's this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I thought, yeah, I thought they were after Fred. <laughs> he even that uh, fat fat. I've been yeah. fatter than that. Yeah. I think I'm fat. Well, I'm fatter than that right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. The cameraman murking them both. He running yeah. backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like that. Um, I think it was like what Berlin Olympics, like no right. Berlin Marathon, right? Right. Because you know how like they got the pace setter, right? Right. In the marathon, and okay. like the the athletes usually like follow him for a while, and then they do their own thing and they just take over and finish the race, right? Yeah. So apparently, one year in the Berlin marathon, the the pace setter actually ended up winning the marathon. That's job. <laughs> and what? No one bothered. No one bothered to overtake him at the end. Because apparently, it, like it was raining, and they were like, "This dude was like used to running in the rain." So okay. He ended up, like, he ended up just finishing the race in Paris. Just when nah, that. What did I'm he get for it? Or did he not give him anything? Because he's not. No, no, actually, no. They, he, he was legit named the winner of it and everything. Oh, that's legit then. <laughs> that's <laughs> a win. Is that assumed because they were employed? <laughs> they're they're not allowed. All right, I'm not mad at that. That's layers. I got one for you. It's a service. This is actually watching the world burn in terms of the way the world has gone into dating. Apparently, one in three women are only out there going for a foodie call. They're literally only going in to get that food and then bounce. There's no interest oh. in ever see the dude or whatever. So someone took advantage of that. Restaurant owner. I'm not going to Google it right now because I just can't be bothered. Yeah, you can Google it. He set it up a bunch of... I just started matching left, right and center. Left, right and center. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then he was just saying, oh, there's this sick restaurant here down the road. <laughs> like, we should meet there. <laughs> Have the guy meet there, right? And then send the message. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't come. Something came up. Can we reschedule? But that is one of my favorite places. You should try the cheesecake and have a coffee too. <laughs> <laughs> and he just out there getting business. <laughs> oh, that's genius. 
bro. You have to give it to him. He took advantage of these thirsty simp guys, bro, and called it yeah. a day. If that ever happens, I'm like, nah, screw that. I'm going home. I mean, it or depends I... on the place. Odds are you well, probably get a donut while you're there in the yard. Yeah, I mean, yeah, odds are I'm getting a takeaway. <laughs> you see what I mean? But odds are I'm just veering into, like, my favorite takeaway place and just oh, doing that instead. Let me see if I can find it. Also, did he have, like, repeat ones? Sir, I can't make it again, but you should try to stay there. I'm not, I'm not, I assume that's how he got caught. <laughs> like this one dude just lives across the road and keeps getting stood up. <laughs> like, this guy's my best customer and no one clocks. <laughs> Hold on, where is it? There's a ton of this, bro. Oh, it's not the one that was coming up. I just typed in fake dating and that's what I got. So apparently, yeah. online dating site, basically using fake profiles to get members to upgrade their service. Similar thing, but yeah. it's not the restaurant one that I was looking for, if it's not near the top. Basically, page two of the search engine is the dark web for me. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> If it's not on page one, I don't care. Uh, what have you got for me, bro? Oh, uh, no. i got something for you. Okay. So, going back to the whole AI taking over the world, and we being totally screwed, so you legit might as well just watch it burn at this point. This thing here. What they did... Hold on, yeah. let me zoom in. I don't know if you'd be able to see the image or not. What they did mm. is they had cameras with the AI and the Wi-Fi. And then it eventually learned to pick up people based on the way they moved and the cameras and like whatever. Mm. So then they took the cameras away and then the AI only had the Wi-Fi signal. And like the way it was bouncing off people, like the way it obviously it doesn't, it just bounces all over the place and it obviously gets interrupted yeah, yeah. by whatever. The, the image on the right is what they could see. Literally, yeah. the, this is what the AI can see. It can pick you up with just the Wi-Fi camera. Think of how mad that is. Like that is basically, nuts. how screwed are we? We are this very screwed. screwed. So this is what it would look like. So obviously he's picking us up. And when you take away the camera, it bounces off like that. Yeah, that's nuts. Can you imagine, bro? So basically, this is literally the Metalhead yeah. episode of Black Mirror that we were talking about in the early episode of this thing. Yeah. It's so bad. How are you hiding from this? And the thing is, yeah, mm. obviously AI is hooked to the network. That means it can yeah. go on any route or any whatever. And then, hold on. What was it? Helium. Was it this one? This thing here. This is somewhat yeah. similar to what's it called? The way it is, yeah, is everyone's got a little node or whatever. View yeah. network app. And now you can see it. everyone's got their little node. So once you're within range of a node, you can yeah. basically get free internet off a person's internet connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're never going to basically like where do we want to go? What where do we visit? Let's visit a nice green area. London's looking very green. Like, where are we? Uh, look at that, bro. That's green. That's noded up. Yeah, I know. Apart from no one living out in Hyde Park. Can you imagine the AI picking you up in everything? So the I only know, way that you can survive, if it had this grid, is this area here. In the black. Oh, yeah, great. that's Whatever. not allowed that. But... Here's where it gets worse though, yeah? This is just one network. Obviously, Elon Musk has got his Starlink or whatever that's coming up. That's going to be able to come off that and then Virgin, everything is popping off. And like another thing that I was looking at is the reason that Am uh, was it Amazon? Amazon own Ring now, right? The doorbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they can relay off that. But anybody who's got a Ring device or Amazon Alexa or whatever, mm. pretty much setting themselves up to run this type yeah. of cell. Can you imagine yeah. if that's how that's it's running? No, that is crazy. Where am I living, bro? I'm going to live. And the there thing is though, right? I remember once reading a, a random sci-fi book right. and I had the thing about AI right. and like they had these guys fighting these kind of monsters because they were like like everyone had like better like things to hook up to the internet everywhere so they had like parts in their heads and whatever right so like there were guys who would fight these AI glitches and monsters from all the AI programs that went rogue because the coding wasn't 100% correct what's this called? the book? I think it was called Cyber oh, that's a book yeah I'm not reading that yeah nah, nah. Yeah, it's too long. Anyway, yeah, the idea was sick. So imagine that, but with that kind of reach. And you're like, yeah, that's pretty much legit. Oh, we're screwed. We're it's so not even that far off. We're so screwed, it's not even funny. Yeah. Like, how are you hiding from that? I this is know. within the building as well. So obviously, it can identify yeah. that this guy here is behind yeah. a table. That's why you can only see half of his body. Yeah. That's based on it having one router. But if you've got like an, a router extension, then it can bounce off that as well. And when you're talking about a building that has cameras inside, Side. How are you going to run away from that? Like, you basically no, can't. You literally can't. All right, you know, I think the goal for this, we need to start like a Patreon or something. Yeah.
yeah. something and then get like a silo no underground silo oh they got them for sale as well eh Yo. bro this is what you need but then this is the thing about it how is that going to be controlled I'm whisk screw this is no point the AI yeah, is literally right. going to cut off everything that you have yeah, all your food supplies your power supplies oxygen supplies do you know what I mm. mean yeah that's mad. that does look mad that kind of looks like the um the fallout game on, on mobile on the mobile it does yeah. if you think about it <laughs> but I think that's what that's where we're headed no yeah I think so what was it? there was this thing I saw mm. what was it where's the thumbs up guy what's he called this guy I saw this on the internet the other day like obviously on the internet mm. that's how we live um yeah what happens is, is this guy is measuring whether or not yeah. he's within the blast radius so apparently if you see a mushroom cloud that yeah. is a new one off and if yeah. your thumb is able to cover the size of the blast then apparently you're within the safe zone oh that's nuts this is kind of why it looks weird he's basically measuring this and then looking yeah. to see whether or not he can see it I need to figure out I need to find yeah. a map on that because it was a mad interesting read and I was like oh this is the best mushroom cloud ever can I get this in the future? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's dope. You know, there was like a guy who survived both explosions, right? Yeah. In Japan. That's a bad one, bro. Well, it was a Nagasaki was first, right? It was a Hiroshima Hold that on. was first. Let's find out. Yes, this guy here, yeah? yeah. Oh, that's him. He's old. Yeah, he is. When you say well, I thought he was... Story checks out, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, he would be old. But <laughs> yeah. what I meant was, I was expecting this to be his picture. Because did he not get radiation poisoning or nothing? Or, I don't know. Do you know I, what I mean? I guess he uh, I guess he, he held out the farm and he was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, bro, that's mad. That's so mad. That's, that is nuts, though. I need to find out what's caused the death was. Because how did he... Also, I was, I was, I was, I was so expecting to get Final at Destination. 90, at I would so be expect... How did he not get Final Destination? I don't know, bro. That's mad. Well, apparently it caused... Look at this. It caused a controversy because they labeled yeah. him as the unluckiest man in the world on QI. He survived both of them. He survived. He How survived to an old age. That's so bad. Mm. All right. You got anything else for me before we wrap it up? Weasel news or something? Because this is this tip, like a dark term, bro. We, this, this wasn't a funny episode at all. This is dinner, so. I've heard a story about like, these two Dutch guys. They were burglars, right? They break into this place. So they like, they break through the door or whatever. They come in and there's a safe. And they're like, okay. oh, sick. This is going to be something big because this is a huge safe. They break into the safe and it's like instructions of how to get out, out of the room with a riddle. Oh, no. So they, what they did no. is they broke into one of those... No, 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 hold on, no, 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 that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> so wait, hold on. Did they break into an escape room or to an actual serial killer's place? No, they actually broke into one of those escape room places. Oh, oh that's you that's ruined you it. Oh, yeah, I no. thought it took a dark, dark time. <laughs> that, this no, hilarious. No. Yeah, but if it was one of those serial killers, that would be so <laughs> dope. <laughs> Uh, also, <laughs> how long did they realize it wasn't a serial killer? Did they try to solve the puzzles first? Because they got I'm not some sort of thing. Even gonna lie yet. It depends on how yeah. long you took to break into the safe. If yeah. the safe was easy to crack, I'd be suspicious. But if they spent like hours just drilling like the whole time <laughs> trying to think, yeah, we're we, we going to come up. We're about to be boiling. No more fried chicken feet flavored ramen noodles for me. <laughs> no more I'm sperm, getting real sperm <laughs> bank visits for me. Uh, apparently I've got a storage warning for my windows because we, we we walk here and we walking by deleting some of your previous versions of windows yeah delete that alright let's wrap it up so I can make more space on my hard drive <laughs> that makes sense <laughs> alright let's pull that one a day bro like subscribe do all those YouTube things and catch you in the next episode we're really rubbish at doing that it's like 50% <laughs> alright pull it <laughs>